Welcome to Symphony Workshop, I'm Gary Clark and this is part 6 in my Symphony Security series. And in this one it's going to be all about role based access control. So I've figured out a load of good stuff which I'm sure you're going to find useful. Before we get into that let me just say that I record in high resolution so don't watch on a blurry screen. Choose high definition if that works for you. Would you like to join a growing group of PHP developers and take your skills to a new level? If that sounds like you, all you need to do is subscribe and click the little notification icon and welcome. If you look at the access control key in our security YAML file, you'll see that we had this commented out uh, path which began with admin. So let's use that now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new controller and a new route which will use um, paths beginning with admin. So I'm going to call this admin controller and that will extend abstract controller and then I'm just going to create a method and a route um, which will display a dashboard, an admin dashboard kind of thing. And so the route is going to be admin dashboard so it means that the route begins with admin which will match the path that we just showed in the security yaml file and i'll also give it a name of admin underscore dashboard Now I'm going to need a page to render, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to templates I'm going to create a new folder in there called admin and then inside of that I'll just create a twig file which I shall call dashboard.html.twig I'm going to keep this really simple, it's just going to be a um, one line to show that you're on the right page so I'll include the base file as you can see I'm getting some auto completion because I'm using the Symfony plugin for PHP Storm and I'm just going to go and borrow some um, markup here so we'll paste that in don't need this flash success I can remove that and then I'll just rename the heading to this is the admin dashboard so that we know that we're on the right page and that's all I want to do back in admin controller then I'm just going to return this I call render because I'm at extending the abstract controller and then admin dashboard.html.twig let's go over to our browser and visit that route so it's redirected us to login which means that we're not signed in so let's sign in and give this another go and that has redirected us to the home page because that's what happens when you sign in so now let's again try and hit the admin dashboard and so we get this angry access denied exception page which is exactly what we need it's basically saying we can't visit this page it's forbidden because we don't have role admin so it's working correctly that however is how it displays in dev mode but you don't want to show all that information to a user if you're in production instead we show them only what they need to know so in the .env file you can find the app underscore env variable and change that to prod then we'll go back over refresh and as you can see much less information only what the user needs to know now that wasn't very pretty you can style these yourself so the page is written at the top of the screen and here it has instructions on how you can create your own templates and show something a bit more custom to your own site so let me change this back to dev we'll go and refresh as you can see our exception is back i'm going to log out what I want to do is add myself as a role admin and then we'll try it out again. But I'm going to do something um, particular. Instead of redirecting a logged in admin to the home page, I'm going to redirect a admin to the admin dashboard page once you log in. So you should know or you should have an idea how to do this in the login form authenticator. I'm going to add another option in the unauthentication success method. So I want to keep the first option as is. If you're trying to get to a certain path, then we'll keep it. Uh, we'll keep the target path in place so that when you log in, it sends you there. If that was your intended location, but if 
there isn't a target path, then we'll check if the user is an admin. So there isn't actually a method on the user uh, of is admin at the moment, but that's something that we'll create. And I get the user off of the token. So let's go over to the user and we'll create our is admin method. So I'll scroll down to the bottom and all this is going to do is just check if the user is an admin and return a boolean true or false. So how am I going to perform this check? Well, if you recall on the user, we have this method getRoles. GetRoles returns a array of roles which the user has. And so all we need to do is check if role admin is in that array. It's as simple as that. So I'm just going to leave a little placeholder in here. I'm not going to actually hard code it in because I prefer to use constants for these kind of things because it means if names change, you're only changing them in one place. So we'll just leave this as is for a second. We'll scroll up to the top. I'm going to create a constant called role admin and the value of it will be a string of role admin. So now I can drop this in here, self role admin. Uh, what I think I'll do is I'll just go and dump this out and see what value we're getting back before we try it out for real and make sure that the code we've just written is actually working how we expect it to and we're getting a boolean. So I'll try and log in and it's giving me true. Okay, so if I change this to something else like role foo, then hopefully we should see false because I don't have role foo. Okay, perfect. Let's clean this up and then we'll just go and let our request run through all the way and hopefully Yes, it takes us to the admin dashboard, so that's working perfectly. Let me now show you another way of achieving the same access control. So I'm going to comment out our admin path in the security YAML file, and I'm actually going to use annotations to check if the user has role admin, and I can actually do it at route level. So I'm just checking if the user has role admin so that they can access admin dashboard. I use the is granted class from the framework extra bundle and I pass in a role admin and I give it a refresh and it works exactly the same as it did before. So let me try it role foobar and as you can see that breaks it. The error message pretty good tells you exactly how this has happened. Access denied by controller annotation is granted. So see how the controller is called admin controller. That suggests that all the routes in this are going to begin with admin. What you can actually do instead of protecting your methods, your routes, you can actually protect the entire controller. So you must have role admin to execute any methods in that controller. Give it a refresh and as you can see where it's exactly the same. What I want to do now is show you something else. I'm going to need a nav bar in order to do that. So here I am at Bootstrap. I like the look at this one. We'll look at the page source and we'll just take a couple of things from here. So we're going to need some styling. I'll bump this up so we can see it. What I'll do is I'll copy this and I'll drop it underneath the style sheets block. Then back over to the browser. You'll see this little link here to nav bar top fixed CSS file. Just click that. Then grab this, I think this is for styling um, pages where the navbar gets fixed to the top. So probably not essential, but we'll take it anyway. Instead of div container, for the main content bootstrap is using main class equals container, we might as well be consistent and just keep everything the same as bootstrap. The next thing I'm going to do is grab the navbar, because this is going to be the main piece that we're looking at. And so I'm not going to need all of it. I'm just going to need one link, really, um, for what I want to demonstrate. So I'll remove all of this. And I'll rename this. And we'll just change it to Dashboard. This is what's displayed on the nav bar, as in, like, your brand. So I'm going to change that to Security Demo. And then I need to set the path to the dashboard. So if you're unfamiliar with Twig, we can do that with the path helper method and we we'll just pass in the name of the route and what I want to do with this is see where it's displaying dashboard I only want it to display that link if the user has role admin 
And the way that I can do that is by using a is underscore granted function, which is available in Twig. And then like we did in the admin controller, we pass in role admin. So go and check this out, I expect to see the link because I have the role admin, so the dashboard link is there. If I change this to a role that I don't have, for example role foo, refresh, and the dashboard link is gone because I don't have role foo. Great stuff. Back in security YAML, I want to address something, I don't really like having to use this negative here, there must be a better way of doing it than that, and in fact there is. There is a role called is authenticated anonymously, which is perfect for routes where you don't want the user to be authenticated or you don't want the user to have role user. So let's log out. That's redirected me to the login page and it's allowed me to visit there anonymously, so it means this must be working. The other ones were reset password, that works, and register. Okay, great, so we've been able to visit all those anonymously. But now I've lost my protection on my other pages. So if I try and visit home page, it lets me, but I don't have a authenticated user to get a username attribute off. I'll switch this back to the login page and we'll go back to security YAML and I'll show you how we do this now. So underneath this first check, so this is checking to make sure that the user is authenticated anonymously. And then if I want to visit any other route, so I can just put a single slash, then in those scenarios I need to be authenticated. So we can use role user like we've done before, or we can use some of the other options which are available to us. Probably the most common one is, is authenticated fully. And there are different sort of variations of this is authenticated fully, which I'll show you shortly. But first off, let's check that this is working. We'll try and log in. Perfect, we're logged in. So the way this works, it just goes down the list. First it'll check this, and then it'll check this. So the first one checks if the path matches login, register, or reset password, and the user is authenticated anonymously. If both those conditions ain't met, it moves on to the next one. And both conditions have to be met, and then what will happen is it'll stop. Authorization is granted, and you're directed to whatever path you're trying to get to. If however none of the matches are evaluated to true, then an access denied exception is thrown. Authorization has failed. Here is where you can read some more about is authenticated fully. It tells you how this works, but it also tells you about some of the other uh, roles which are similar, such as is authenticated remembered. And this means you're logged in because of a remember me cookie. Uh, you'll also see down here the is authenticated anonymously and so basically all users, even authenticated ones, have is authenticated anonymously but it's useful for scenarios like we tried where we need to visit pages and you are not authenticated. Before I move on, I just want to add a link on my login page to the register page because currently you can only log in but there's nothing to help you if you're not actually registered. So let's go over to login.html.twig and this is the uh, header which says please sign in. I'll borrow a link from here, paste that in there and then we just need to customize this as a register route. So register and then we're using the path function here and I just need to change this to the name of the register route which is app register. Refresh and that's Perfect. Okay, great stuff. For this final demonstration, I'm going to talk about role hierarchy. And what that means is if you have a particular role, you get automatically granted other roles which fall within that role's hierarchy. So, it sounds a bit technical. Let me show you this. It's going to be really simple. First off, you need to create a new controller to demonstrate this. So, I'm creating one called accounts controller. Just going to have an index method. And I'm also going to create an accompanying twig file uh, which we can render from this index method. And inside of templates accounts, I've called it index.html.twig. 
I'll include base.html.twig and just going to change this to something where we can recognize that this is the accounts page. Okay, so let's render that page. And I'm not getting any auto completion there because I've not actually extended the abstract controller. So let's do that and that means that I can call this render. And then all we need is the file path and name. And then I'm just going to add my routing. So this is going to be like an overview page of accounts. So in fact, we'll call it that route accounts forward slash overview. And then for the name, we'll call it accounts underscore overview. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this controller only accessible to users who have a role bookkeeper. So the same as what we did with our admin controller, I'm going to add is granted to the whole of the controller. So let's grab the route and go and test this out. So hopefully first time because I'm not signed in. Good, it redirects me to the login page. Now it should be saved as a target path. It's redirecting me there, but we have an access denied exception because I don't have the bookkeeper role. So I'm not going to give myself the bookkeeper role. What I'm going to do is in the security.yaml file underneath the security key, I'm going to add another key called role hierarchy. And so what I can do here is I specify role admin and then underneath this I can add an array of all the roles which a role admin also has as part of the hierarchy. So a simple explanation, if you have the role admin, that means you get automatically granted role bookkeeper and any other roles in that array in fact. And so when I refresh, as you can see, it's given me access. So that pretty much concludes role based access control. In the next one, we're going to look more at permission based access control. So whereas in this one, we've been granted permission or granted access to uh, routes based on the role that we hold. In the next one, we're going to look at permission to perform functions and to do things based on what permissions we have. Thanks for watching. If you've watched all six so far, then nice one for sticking with it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if so, and don't hesitate to share if you want to help other developers like yourself. That's what good developers do. One last thing, if you want YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the little notification icon. I release new material every few days, and details of my schedule can be found on the community tab of my YouTube channel homepage. I'll see you in part seven.